Hey guys, you would have seen in our last vlog that we did a grocery shop for an entire week for me. Now, this vlog, part two, I'm gonna show you how to meal prep, okay? We're gonna show you how long it takes and how to actually do it in the easiest, fastest possible. We know that you guys are super time poor. Well, I know that I am being a busy mum, working full time. If you guys are keen to see how I meal prep for an entire family, we're also happy to do that for you at a later stage. But first things first, we thought, Ash, as in myself, let's get the meal prep done just for me. We'll store it in the fridge. We'll show you exactly what you need to do. This is the grocery shop for the week. We've got some chicken, oats, we've got some banana, almond milk, yogurt, etc. some eggs, some dates, because we're gonna make some lamington balls. Now, please keep in mind that this grocery shop was done on a budget, okay? So we haven't got a huge variety, but most of the time, the biggest complaint that we come across is that it takes too long and then it costs too much money, okay? So we're gonna cook something that tastes really good for the week. We are repeating the same day during the week, but super easy. If your main aim is to be able to eat healthy, it might be to stick to your goals, eat for your goals, this is the way to do it, okay? After I run through what I actually do, I'm gonna set the timer and then we're gonna show you exactly how long it takes. I also like to store my veggies in these fridge smart containers. They keep them fresh and crunchy all week. So what I'll do is I'll actually prepare the meals up until Wednesday and then I will store the other vegetables that I chop up in the fridge smart. I've got, I've had these for years. So this is a really old one. I'm not even sure if they still look like this. Um, they're Tupperware containers. My meals will go in Chinese containers and then I've got the round one for my oats, okay? On the stove here, we're going to poach some chicken. So my chicken will get poached in the bigger pot. I'll pop the rice on in the smaller pot whilst I'm chopping up the veggies and um, the chicken. All right, let's get stuck into it. is done I've chopped up the veggies they're all in these containers weigh them out for enough for Wednesday cook them up put them in the containers whilst our rice and our chicken is poaching I'm going to move on to the breakfast and we're at 13 minutes so far so now we're moving on to oats guys I pop them in these little containers here so what I'll do is I'll put my oats in here my two whole eggs will go in the container and I also have a tablespoon of coconut sugar in my oats as well All of these are now in the containers. I'm gonna pop them in the fridge because they've got eggs in it and then I can grab and go each day that comes. And next up, I'm going to dish the rice out into the containers. The chicken will be nearly done and then we'll be able to pop the vegetables on top. Let's get to it. Okay, so now my rice is evenly portioned throughout each of them. For four of those meals, I'm going to be putting hummus. The other meals, I have a stir fry with tamari. I'm also going to weigh out the vegetables that we pre-chopped over here. I'm going to weigh them out into my 200 gram portions, ready to cook when my chicken is almost done. So we're getting there. So our veggies are now weighed out. This is four days worth of vegetables crazy hey so 200 grams each meal i'm going to pop them in my big pot chicken is almost done then we'll dish it out and our meals for the next four days are done so all i've done is put the veggies in a pan with a tablespoon of coconut oil i'm going to put some pink salt on top and also a teaspoon of garlic while the veg are cooking i'm going to be doing the lamington balls so we need 130 grams of date 100 grams of coconut we need a tablespoon of pure maple syrup and a tablespoon of cacao. All of the lamington ingredients, they're all ready to go in a blender. I use a Thermomix, you guys don't have to use a Thermomix. I would just suggest a high speed, speed blender. So roughly 11 seconds for me. Take off the lid. And there we go, there's our mix. It's ready to roll into balls. All right, guys, our little Leamington balls are done. We're at 31 minutes. Our veggies are cooked. Our chicken is right to go. So what we're gonna do is portion it out into, into our little uh, lunch containers here. And then we are almost done. We've got our lunches for the week here with the beetroot hummus, snacks of the Leamington balls, and then over the back here, dinner, 
chicken, veg, rice, and I'm gonna pop a tablespoon of tamari on each. So there you have it, I'm done. Something that I will share with you I don't do is so our snack balls, I actually leave them in the container and take them to work. So not only is that gonna save you time on washing up, but it's just one container, you pop it in, there's not 50 million containers that you can forget. I also take a bag of protein powder. So rather than scooping a protein powder in a little bag or a little container that you have to fill up five times, saving you time, saving you money, I buy a protein powder bag, I take it to work, I leave it there. So that in conjunction with taking my almond milk, a protein shake is one of my snacks. So taking my almond milk, leaving that at work. Now also the Chobani yogurt, I have Chobani yogurt with some protein powder and two teaspoons of almond brazil cashew spread which i have after dinner as a dessert now this is something that i also don't portion out so i have it at night i just pop it in my bowl saving on washing up on different containers every single day so that's something that saves you money washing up time as well that's pretty much it so guys here we are it's still rolling 47 minutes and 33 seconds to do my meal prep for myself. So if you saw in our last vlog, the meal prep here has cost $65 for the entire week, which is just a little over $9 a day. So I feel like that's pretty freaking awesome. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed, I'm gonna stop it now. So 47 minutes, 50 seconds, not even an hour. That's insane. A lot of people say it takes time and money. It's too expensive to eat healthy, but I have just proven everybody wrong. It is actually more cost effective. It actually doesn't take that much time. And now I don't have to do anything in regards to my meals for the next half of a week. So then the rest of the week, the vegetables are chopped up. They're in the fridge. They're ready to go. It won't take me long. It will probably take 15 minutes to lock up the rest of the week. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports mine and Ash's channel and helps spread the word about healthy eating and changing the way women see their health and fitness. Well, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you soon. Bye.